Asian stir fry chicken garnished with diced pineapples. It's intense. Oh, I was trying to think of a way to introduce, you know the way I usually introduce my vlogs in a funny manner. So I decided instead of coming up with something cringy, something that you won't laugh so much, I just decided to use this recipe, me, to blow you, let me finish, away. I'm about to blow you away. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to my Copibo's Therapy. So this is an Asian stir fried recipe. I love Asian food. So here we have green bell peppers. These are yellow bell peppers. These are red bell peppers. I just cut them into small strips. Now here you have tomato jam, sweetened. This is tomato paste. This is baking powder. Now here we have a teaspoon of crushed ginger. This is a tablespoon of crushed garlic. This is soy sauce. Uh, this is cornstarch. I just put them in short glasses to make the vlog more interesting, you know, as I do. Now this is boneless chicken breast. I just cut them into small pieces, you see. That's about half a kilo. And then this is sugar. Asian food usually has a lot of sugar. That's sugar, salt. This is a glass of water, cayenne pepper, a pea flour. This is corn flour. And this is uh, chopped uh, shallot. It's just chopped finely. Now here we have pineapple for that sweetness, that natural sweetness. And then here we have vinegar. That's all the ingredients you're going to need for this recipe. So the first thing you're going to do is grab this, this is about 100 ml of corn flour. Throw it into the AP flour, give it a nice stir, and grab your, your ginger. Toss it in that, and about a teaspoon full of cayenne pepper, toss it in that. As that goes, grab your chicken breast, and just sprinkle some salt. Because you know we want to season this. We want to keep it seasoned before it goes into the butter. That's enough. Now, back to the flour. Into this, toss some water, just a little water. You know, I usually say put a little as you go. Because you can always add, but you can't really remove. As that goes, you can eyeball this. Just like a, a teaspoon, a teaspoon full of baking powder, because baking powder usually makes the, the chicken more tender. Some more water into the butter, and you mix it well. So I left the butter to rest for like 10 minutes. Now grab all this uh, seasoned chicken breast and toss it in there, and just mix it nicely. See the, the consistency of the butter? That's what you want. Now, in a pan with medium heat, you need to gently, like, toss this in. Piece by piece. And you let it fry to a golden brown. A nice crisp. Medium heat this. After, like, five minutes in the heat, you can see these are ready. See how they've puffed up? They don't even look like half a kilo anymore. Remove them from the heat. And then, carefully remove your oil. You know this is hot oil. Make sure you leave just a little in the, in the, in the pan. Let's put this aside. Don't worry about my <laughs> my pan, I know it's in a couple of days in service. It remembers those dark days in Nam. <laughs> but, um, into that pan, spread down your shallot. Just a little. And then toss in your peppers. And as that is floating down, you come to your soy. This is a shot of soy. And this, remember this, the constant. It, it's just a, thicken, a thickening agent. I'm just using it for to thicken this up. And then to that, 
going to close in about three tablespoons, six tablespoons of sugar, and so this is a 300 milliliter bottle. You need to toss in like 150 milliliters, like half of it in that to make that sweet and sour. See that? Then just mix this in. See how? Oh, this is a it in there. That thicken agent because you want your sauce thick. You want it thick, right? <laughs> So after your veggies have settled down a little, this is the time you grab your tomato jam, sorry your tomato paste, and squeeze some in that, and the sweetened tomato jam. This will make the, the stir fry really sweet. And then you toss in your, your ginger, your tablespoon, ah sorry, your garlic. See that it is, see to it that it is properly seasoned. High heat. Try it in. Damn, it smells really good. <laughs> and then, the sauce that I had made. The sweet and sour sauce. Toss it in there. And let this reduce down into a nice thick consistency. Now you see how nice and thick this sauce has become. Taste it. Wow. It's thick. You wanted it thick, right? Then you throw back your. See, these are like. <laughs> they're like chicken nuggets. And then you just toss them in. Toss them in into this sauce. Barely half a minute in. This is ready. Look at that. <laughs> and the smell. I wish you could smell through the screen, man. It is intense. I kid you not. I'm going to be enjoying this with rice. As traditional as the Asians can be. Let me give first this veggies a, a try. Mm, mm, mm. You get that vinegar straight away. That sweetness, you get it straight away. Man, let me try this chicken. <laughs> That's how you make sweet and sour chicken. It's still crunchy. You can even feel the cayenne inside. It's crazy. Guys, you need to go try this recipe at home. <laughs> it's intense. Mm. So, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next vlog. Let us.